Wireless headset users may experience frequent or even constant disconnection. Disconnection issues with SteelSeries Arctis headsets are generally uncommon, so if you have a persistent issue, you'll need to perform a number of troubleshooting steps to identify where the problem is coming from. As far as the hardware is concerned, the SteelSeries Arctis 7 is almost always reliable and can work for years without any issues. If you think that the hardware is at fault though, you should consider getting the headset replaced, especially if it's still within the warranty period. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Fix number one, repair the headset and wireless transmitter. The wireless transmitter that comes with the box is already paired to the headset by default. You're not required to repair the two devices anymore. The only time that you should consider repairing the two is when you have a new wireless transmitter or when the old headset was repaired. Here's what you need to do. Connect the wireless transmitter to a good working USB port in your PC. Open the SteelSeries engine software. Check the pairing status of both devices in the SteelSeries engine software. If the software is not detecting the headset, hover your mouse on the top right corner of your device and click on the orange gear icon and click Pair Device. Once the new window appears, you can start the pairing process. If SteelSeries engine is informing you that a device is not connected, please try unplugging and replugging the device. Try plugging the device into a different USB port or try a different USB charging cable. Fix number 2, check the USB port or cable. If your SteelSeries Arctis 7 continues to disconnect on you, the next good thing that you can do is to check whether or not there's a problem with the USB port you're using. If you're on a computer, try using another USB-C port to check if the previous port is defective. Do the same step if you're using a USB up port. Fix number 3, relocate the wireless transmitter. The placement of the wireless transmitter may affect the 2.4 GHz signal, especially if it's behind a thick, reinforced wall, metallic object, or glass. Try to see if your SteelSeries RT7 keeps disconnecting if there's a clear line of sight between it and the wireless transmitter. Afterwards, check if you have the same issue by restarting the headset. Fix number 4, change your USB power settings. If your SteelSeries RT7 keeps disconnecting even after you've rechecked the wireless transmitter and you're positive that the USB ports you've tried are all working fine, you also want to check if the USB settings need to be changed. Here's what you must do. Press the Windows key on the keyboard or click on the Start button. Type in Control Panel and open the Control Panel app. Click Hardware and Sound. Select Power Options. Under the Preferred Plans section, click on the blue Change Plan Settings link. Click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Click the plus sign beside USB Settings. If you have a laptop, you should get two options under USB Selective Suspend Setting on Battery and Plugged In. Make sure that both options says Disable. If you're using a desktop, make sure that setting says Disable. Click Apply and then OK. Fix number 5, SteelSeries Engine Software Issue Having the SteelSeries engine installed in your PC ensures that you have all the right drivers that your computer and headset needs in order to work. However, this software may also cause problems if it's not working properly due to unique bugs in your system. Some users were able to fix disconnection issues with their headsets after reinstall engine. Make sure that you do so if your SteelSeries Arctis 7 keeps disconnecting at this time. Fix number 6, reset the firmware of your Arctis 7. The last thing that you can do right now is to return the firmware state of your SteelSeries headset to defaults. Disconnect any cable from your Arctis 7 headset. Carefully remove the cushion on the left ear cup. Locate the reset button and press and hold it for one second using a paperclip. The reset button is inside a pinhole. Once you've reset the headset, charge it again for another 10 minutes before attempting to power it back on. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help